Okay, hey everybody, it's Mark, and today we're going to do a bullion knot, which is going to be the straw on your three jugs of sweet tea canvas. So I've drawn a, a black line so you can see it on a plain white canvas a little bit easier to kind of mimic what your straw shape is. So when you do a bullion knot, you're going to reference two points on the line, point A and point B. So you come up at point A, which is at the bottom of the element, and I'm using a bullion needle. It's just a long, thin needle. You can use a long milliner's needle or a regular needle sometimes, but if you don't have a bullion needle, let us know. We'd be happy to send you some. So anyway, I'm going up in A and down in B, and I'm going to keep a loop in my thread. I'm not going to come all the way through. And then what I'm going to do now is come back up in A, where I first went down, only about halfway up. I'm keeping half the needle uh, still underneath the canvas. Now with my free hand, I'm going to wrap the needle, and there's not a certain number. We'll just kind of lay it down and see if it looks like it's long enough. So you, yep, so see, we're not near long enough there, so we're going to keep wrapping. And I made this line a little bit longer than your straw, I think, but it'll still work here. So we're almost there. Give it a few more wraps. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the, the loops, the wraps, with my freehand, and then the, the extra thread that's in the back, I'm going to go ahead and just pull all that slack out of that. Okay, so now I've got my wraps in my hand, and I pulled the slack out of the back. So now I'm going to kind of loosely twist the um, wraps in the opposite direction that I put them on, just to loosen them a little bit. Then I'm going to, holding the wraps tightly, I'm going to pull the bullion needle through, and kind of parallel to the canvas and straight out. And then kind of as you slide the wraps down, pull on the thread. On, and now you've got your wraps all over your area, which would be your straw. Now you would still want to take your needle and go back down in B and pull it down. And there you have your bullion knot.